Hi guys, so moles, um, what kind of thing are we looking for when it comes to moles? How do we know a mole is uh, dangerous as in a cancer uh, or otherwise if it's safe and it's absolutely fine? So as uh, practitioners, as and what we're looking for um, is what I refer to as the, or otherwise what's known as the ABCD approach. Um, it's the approach that I personally use in uh, practice all day long and I sh could probably speak for the most part of uh, many medical practitioners in the same way. The revised version, so that you know that the revised version is um, the seven point pathway. Um, and I think it's Edinburgh Glasgow uh, scale that takes the seven point pathway. So yes, when we are stratifying the risk or otherwise we're making the referral, and the urgent two-way, two-week wait referral pathway here in the UK as per NICE guidelines to dermatology, we will document with this referral the seven-point pathway. But in actual clinical practice, um, when I'm consulting with patients, when I'm exam examining, carrying out the clinical evaluation, I will actually, in my mind, run through this ABCDE approach. So what exactly is it that I'm looking for? So any mole that you have um, is what we're looking for is the actual mold itself. <clears throat> now, the mold should be circular and, and, and as circular as it is, it should be symmetrical. So if this mold is asymmetrical, then I'm, I'm a little bit more suspect of the, the lesion uh, as we refer to it. So it should be circular. If it isn't, then you kind of think, okay, that's number one on the list. The second thing be for border. So the border should be well-defined, okay? So it's what we call a well-defined confined border. So the actual colour of the lesion of the mole itself should be clear and it should stop completely and then the skin colour should then come into play. So I've got a little one here. I'm going to kind of bring this into, into view. So you can see here, for example, that's a nice clear circle line. That colour does not blend with the skin itself. It actually is well-defined border. And that's what we're looking for when I say border. It should be well-defined, confined. It shouldn't, the colour of the, the actual uh, mold lesion shouldn't blend with the skin. C next is for colour itself. So C stands for colour as well as consistency in that colour. So the as you saw on mine over here, this little mold I've got, it should be uniform colour, all one colour, not a multitude of colours. Um, and again, if, if it is a multitude of colours, that again, so we've got A for asymmetry, B for border, should, uh, so it should be symmetrical. If it isn't, it's worrisome. The border should be well defined. If it isn't and it blends into the skin, that's a little bit of a concern. And the consistency of the actual colour, it should be one uniform colour, occasionally two colours. But if it's a multitude of colours, or the colour that is, and, and what I mean by different colours is the actual shades. So <clears throat> it'll all probably be brown or of, of a similar kind of colour, but it might be different shades. So that again is somewhat worrisome. So these three kind of you put together, you add one to the other, never one in on, its, on its own, but you put them together. Then uh, the next line is the D for diameter. If the largest points of this is greater than six or seven millimetres, depending on what reference you read, that again leaves room for concern. And finally, E for evolution. If this has changed, so let's say, for example, you say two weeks ago, and two weeks later, you're seeing it and it's grown or it's changed in colour, then that again is worrisome. So that's the ABCDE approach. Then we use one of these in its, uh, on its own. It's always in context. You should always look at them all together. Um, and, and then the aside from all of that, if it's painful, if it's itchy or it's bleeding, these are again signs that you kind of need to say, OK, perhaps I need to have a practitioner look at this. If despite all of this, you were still worried, my advice would be absolutely be to take a second opinion from a GP or otherwise a medical practitioner qualified in the set field for an expert opinion. But generally speaking, if you've got these kind of issues with the mole, so if the asymmetry, if the border is, is not well defined, if the colour is not consistent, uh, if the diameter is, is larger than six or seven millimetres, or if there has been a change, aside from that, if there's blood, itchiness or pain to the area, then these are all kind of um, signs that you should perhaps have it looked at, seek medical attention. Thank you for watching and until next time. Stay safe.